time. Time is our most valuable asset. We have a limited supply of it. No matter how much money we have, there is no way to get back the time that we have spent. Now, a sick person in life wants nothing more in the world but to not be sick and have more time. When you lose a loved one, the only thing in the world you want more is more time with them. Now, YouTube is a fantastic place, generally speaking, to go and get information on various different topics. However, for some reason, sailing YouTube has taken a left turn and gone off of a cliff. Now, 99% of the content you see on YouTube related to sailing is what I consider selfish content. These vloggers want to go jet skiing, so you, as a sailing audience, that's what you get to see, is them jet skiing. Or, they need to change anchorages, so what you get to see is, oh, we're looking for an anchorage. If anybody knows of an anchorage here that can hook us up... Now, if you find these channels entertaining and you enjoy watching along, fantastic. High fives, hats off to you, watch them, subscribe, do all that good stuff. But if you're somebody that actually wants to get on the water and start sailing full time, possibly do some island hopping throughout the Caribbean, cross oceans, whatever. If you're a person that actually wants to sail, these places are a horrible, horrible place to get information. I don't know about you, but when I'm trying to get information on sailing and somebody mid sentence is trying to sell me a knife set, I don't know where I've gone wrong in my life choices. One of the biggest misconceptions, if not the single biggest misconception in the entire YouTube sailing community is to go and buy yourself a quote salvage vessel or to buy yourself an inexpensive so-called budget vessel and spend two or three years on the hard. That way you'll know everything about your vessel. You'll know the ins and outs of your vessel. Oh, mama? Mama. Wrong again. I'm going to show you several examples right now and explain exactly why that is incorrect and not the proper way to do things. But first, if you actually want to get on the water sooner than later and save money in the process, below in the description as well as in the comments, there is a link to the American Sailing Association membership. You get a discount, and with the American Sailing Association membership, you get discounts to several other companies, including Seato, Precision Sales, and a wide variety of other products that will help you save money and get you on the water sooner than later. I suggest using that code and becoming an ASA member as soon as possible if you're serious about getting on the water. You will save an absolute ton of money. See what I did there? I included an ad. However, it's one that's actually going to save you money and help you get on the water, not show you how to cook zucchini. Now, first up, we have Expedition Evans, a newer vlogging couple on YouTube in the world of sailing. A couple years ago, they purchased a 2008 Beneteau 49 at auction that was completely salvaged. Now, at the time of their purchase, they paid $100,000 for the vessel. You could have, at that time, simply bought a non-salvaged Beneteau 49 for the exact same price. Now, since purchasing this vessel, this couple has done an astounding amount of work, almost a ridiculous amount of work. They've spent roughly two years on the hard, completely rebuilt the vessel. Then they went and got a surveyor to come out and tell them that everything was okay. However, in the world of sailboat repair and fiberglass, there is no way to actually do that. The surveyor cannot see how it was repaired. They can only see the outside appearance. Now, I can go and paint some dog poo pink. It'll look pink. However, on the inside, it's still dog poo. Now that's what happened with this vessel. They started sailing, then their mast twisted. Then they realized they missed repairs or repaired things incorrectly and had to retake apart the vessel. We're two years into this and tens of thousands of dollars and hundreds and hundreds of hours of time on fixing this vessel. Now, did these two work their butts off? Absolutely they did. Did they throw a bunch of good money after bad? 100%. Was it an efficient use of their time? Absolutely not. And the biggest misconception is that now they know everything about their vessel. That's simply incorrect. The biggest foundation of sailing is to actually be able to sail. Now, when you're on the hard working on your vessel, you might learn some electrical things, maybe some diesel marine things, some fiberglass work. However, you don't know how to sail your vessel. You don't know how your vessel sails, how it reacts to different squalls or gusts, what's gonna cause it to do what. You're simply starting out brand new as a novice. Now you've spent over two years on the hard fixing the vessel, but yet you don't even know really anything about your vessel still. And based on the amount of money and time, in my opinion, it's just not an efficient use of your time. 
Now, unfortunately, it doesn't stop there with Expedition Evans. There are numerous channels doing this. This appears to now be the new way to build a YouTube sailing channel versus actually sailing and teaching other people the benefits of sailing and how to prepare your vessel, how to maintain your vessel. Now, the new thing is to buy a refit vessel that's completely thrashed, 100%, not worth your time, money, or effort, and spend two, three, four years on the hard refitting and rebuilding this vessel. That way you can build up your YouTube following and lucky you, you can start to sell your audience some knives. Now, if that was your plan all along, hey, high five, hats off to you. But don't be an absolute potato and lie to people and then try to talk up your vessel when you know for a fact it was 100% way more than you're leading on for it to be. Now, this is not specific to Expedition Evans. This is just in general. All of these channels out here pretending that things are much, much easier than they actually were during the refit. Or several of them have numerous sponsors that they never mention in the videos. And here they are selling you on products that do you no good. But at the same time, they're getting tons of free products and making this refit look much, much easier than it actually is. The reality of sailing refits is this. They are incredibly expensive, no matter what. They will always cost five, six times as much as you think they're going to. And they're always gonna take two to three times as long as you think. Now, if that's something you think is worth your time, in my suggestion, do some research outside of YouTube and these so-called sailors that are doing this vlogging thing on YouTube with these sailing refits. Go get some actual information and go start to talk to people that aren't trying to be YouTube famous and sell you products. Don't get your information from vloggers trying to sell you knives on YouTube. There is better information out there. YouTube sailing is not reality. There are a couple of good channels out there, but 99% of it's just entertainment vlogging. They're trying to build up an audience to sell you a product so they can make money. And that's fantastic, that's fine. However, if you actually wanna get on the water sooner than later and in a cost-effective and time-efficient manner, then head on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com and become a producer. You do get a one-on-one -on -one consult with me personally to discuss all of your sailing needs. You also get a year's access to my private members area with several hundred members over there, all looking and in various stages of getting on the water full-time. It's a fantastic source of information. Plus, you'll also be listed at the end of each of my videos as a producer. It's really a fantastic value and it will actually help you get on the water sooner than later and save you money in the process. If you did like the video, please leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.